Animal Essentials, Plant Enzymes, and Probiotics Animal Essentials, Plant Enzymes, and Probiotics assist in the digestion and absorption of nutrients which are necessary to maintain your pet's good health. Animal Essentials, Plant Enzymes, and Probiotics relieves the extra burden placed on the digestive system by breaking down fats, carbohydrates, cellulose, and protein. What are digestive enzymes? Digestive enzymes are special types of protein molecules that catalyze the breakdown of food into components that can be utilized by the body. These proteins are not stored in the body, but are released into the digestive system based on the anticipation of food. Because they are not stored, they must be taken with each meal. Does your pet need digestive enzymes? Adding digestive enzymes to your companion's diet will ensure optimal digestion and absorption of the food you are feeding. Also, as your dog or cat's body ages, less enzymes are produced and supplementation is necessary for optimum health. Digestive efficiency can also be reduced by excitement, anxiety, or stress of any sort such as travel, separation, or working stress. To ensure optimum digestion and health, we recommend the addition of this supplement to your animal's feeding regimen every day. The benefits of feeding are improved digestion, optimized food values, meaning that they'll get more value from the food they eat and it will save you money because your companion will probably be eating less, less flatulence, and it will boost overall vitality very quickly while supporting the immune system. The enzymes present in our formula? Alpha amylase helps in the digestion of carbohydrates by helping to hydrolyze the alpha 1 through 4 glycidic linkages of polysaccharides to dextrin, D-glucose, maltose, and oligos oligosaccharides. Beta amylase works on the end of starch molecules instead of in the center, as does alpha amylase and the results in the production of sugar from starch molecules. In other words, it breaks down starch. Protease works on proteins to reduce them to individual amino acids, which is what they're composed of. Some of these are acid-stable proteases that start their work in the stomach. Protein takes the longest and are the most difficult foods to component to digest, even for dogs and cats. With acid-stable protease, the decomposition starts earlier in the digestive tract, thus providing more complete digestion. Lipase helps to metabolize fats, triglycerides. The fats are broken down into monoglycerides, diglycerides, and glycerol. If given in larger quantities, the lipase can enter the bloodstream and help remove excess triglycerides from the arteries and veins, improving circulation. That's generally not a problem in dogs and cats, more so in humans. Cellulase. As the name implies, cellulase breaks down cellulose, fiber, by helping to break down cell walls, resulting in both necessary soluble and insoluble fiber. Very important for carnivores who lack this enzyme that are eating vegetable-based foods or grains. Hemicellulase. Hemicellulose and an am amorphous sticky type of cellulose that form long strings of cellulose is crystalline. This enzyme helps break this polymer down into its individual sugars, primarily xylose, for easier digestion. Bromelain. Bromelain is extracted from pineapple stems, not the fruit, but the stems. And it is a proteolytic protein digesting enzyme that helps break down the proteins into oligo oligopeptides and amino acids. So why plant enzymes? Animal Essentials plant enzymes and probiotics contain a blend of plant and microbial produced enzymes, none of which come from animal sources. Animal derived enzymes work in only one area of the digestive system, the stomach and the intestines, while plant and microbial enzymes work throughout the whole system, from the mouth through the stomach into the intestines. Since our enzymes work over a broader pH range, they are active longer in the entire digestive process, reducing the food into usable components much more efficiently. How are plant enzymes produced? The enzymes in our formula are produced by fermentation, whereby certain strains of bacteria are cultured on a substrate of wheat germ, oats, or other natural substance. As the bacteria digest the substrate, they produce specific enzyme byproducts which are then extracted by sophisticated methods of hydrolysis. 
Bromelain is an exception, as an, it is extracted directly from the stems of Ananas camosus, the pineapple plant, not by fermentation. The probiotic component, why bacillus coagulans? Probiotics are bacteria that benefit the digestive tract by directly helping to break down food while supporting healthy populations of microflora in the gut. We added bacillus coagulans to the formula for the purpose of providing a probiotic that complements the activities of the enzymes in the formula. Bacillus coagulans is a lactic acid producing bacteria which bears spores that encapsulate the bacteria as protection from the environment, oxidation, and heat. What this means is that these spores remain dormant until they are activated in the gut or the mouth by saliva or hydrochloric acid producing lactic acid bacteria. These desirable bacteria inhibit the growth of putrid bacteria in the intestine, thereby maintaining the balance of healthy intestinal flora. Calcium sulfate, an excipient. The enzymes and probiotic in our formula represent a very small percentage of what's inside each bottle. In order to keep the formula stable and in a form that allows for safe, accurate dosing and optimal shelf life, we use calcium sulfate as a carrier substance called an excipient. Calcium sulfate is mined and refined from gypsum, the same stuff the drywall board is made of. Of course, ours is human food grade. It is a white, flavorless, and relatively odorless fine powder. It is anhydrous, meaning it contains absolutely no moisture, which is important toward maintaining freshness and potency of this product throughout its three-year shelf life. Although calcium sulfate will provide up to 45% of its weight as nutritional calcium, a standard dose of plant enzyme and probiotics is too small to be considered a calcium supplement and will not influence the use of other calcium supplements such as our seaweed calcium, which can be safely fed concurrently. There are some things you need to know about how to read this product label because they're not like any other kind of supplement labels in the market. Enzymes are different. First of all, on the Guaranteed Analysis panel, you'll see that enzymes are not measured by weight, but by their activities, as required by feed regulations. Determination of enzymatic activity is accomplished by laboratory procedures that are specific to each enzyme. Activity is the rate of chemical transformation that occurs when an enzyme goes to work. Unlike enzymes, probiotic bacteria are measured by colony forming units. CFUs. Here you see the listing of our bacillus coagulans. It shows that our product has 100 million CFUs of bacillus coagulans in every serving, meaning there are billions of live bacteria in every jar. And finally, in addition to the calcium sulfate that's used in an, as an excipient, the ingredient list includes the source organisms of each enzyme. Again, this is a regulatory requirement. Sorry for the confusion. The bacteria you see listed here are not actually in the formula. They're not present there, but were used to produce the enzymes of the formula. So plant enzymes and probiotics, the directions for use, very easy. Add to food at least once daily. I prefer adding it to every meal. Dogs, one quarter teaspoon, that's about a gram per 30 pounds or 13.6 kilograms of the dog's body weight. Cats, one quarter of a teaspoon once daily. That would apply for small dogs under 30 pounds as well. A small amount goes a long way. One of these jars will last several months for the average dog. I'm Greg Tilford and thank you very much.